We have a mission. One man, me, two kids, you, Operation Greenhouse Upgrade. Can we do it? farm what we use for a greenhouse our first greenhouse was a harbor freight greenhouse and it was a 10 by 12 greenhouse and as we got into more commercial growing and really providing for customers I found out really quick that it was way too small so we got rid of that and we upgraded to actually we took our caterpillar tunnel that was out in the market garden and we moved it over to where our harbor freight greenhouse was to be our new greenhouse which that was our greenhouse for a while and it worked out really well it had the right size it was 50 feet by 14 feet and we're able to grow a lot of things in there until this big gust of wind it went in the in the greenhouse went and it bent everything out it was crazy but thankfully the greenhouse was mostly okay except for a river two everything was still usable so we set the ribs and the hoops back down on the ground put the cover back on there and secured it once again and we used it for uh, at least a few more months again and it worked out really well being able to have a greenhouse having an area where you can take your your plants in to prep them to be ready to go out in the field and during that time we also set up a hundred foot caterpillar tunnel out in the market garden so we got a new caterpillar tunnel for the garden and ultimately I knew that since the setup that we had for the greenhouse was a temporary setup I knew that I ultimately wanted to upgrade and last week if you saw our vlog if you haven't make sure you checked it out we had some more wind that came through and we actually recently had a tear in part of the plastic of the greenhouse and some of the carabiners that were hooking it down actually came off so the plastic was just blowing so we just decided to completely go ahead and take it down yeah a little bit like that so the wind actually gave us a head start in upgrading our greenhouse i had the kids some time before that actually work on the new side post that we're going to be used to raise up the hooves for the new setup on our greenhouse so they got some homeschool in they were able to work together so we measured out the post with the tape measure and we marked them. After that, they gave them to me, then I cut them. I also went ahead and cut our ground post because we were going to go with some heavier duty setup on this upgrade for the greenhouse. And I really wanted to make sure that everything was more secure and a, light, a lot less likely to be lifted off the ground. So Sayla and Josiah, I want you to work together. I want one of you to hold the tape measure down. Then I want the other one to use the marker to mark it right at 34 inches. Who's going to use tape measure and who's going to mark? Josiah, tape measure, Sayla, marker. that took a drill and drilled holes in the bottom of the post when I wanted the post the drill bit broke I broke the bit got a new bit and finished the job and with the ground post with the holes at the bottom the reason I did that was to run a bolt through that hole at the bottom of the post and then once you put that post with the bolt at the bottom fill it up with concrete so that way when the concrete dries that bolt will help hold that pole that post in the ground easier and there's a lot less likely chance of just a pole getting sucked out of the concrete and speaking of concrete Josiah was really eager to help me out what did you want to do I wanted to mix concrete Sure did. I don't think you've had the chance to mix the concrete before. So he had a first hand chance of being able to do it, right? Yeah. And what did you think of doing the concrete, of I, mixing the concrete? I 
think that it would be a lot easier. Yep, so those muscles of yours got a little bit of a workout in. But after we mixed the concrete, we poured it into the hole for our post and got our post set up for our corners. And I only concreted in the four corners of the greenhouse, only those ground posts. So I felt the other ones would be okay. A lot of the greenhouse plants that I've seen actually have it where you don't concrete it in. But with the winds that we have had recently, there was no way I'm not going to concrete at least some of those posts in. So I definitely wanted to make sure we got the ends. So that way it would, the, the greenhouse would be stronger and less likely of flying up in the air. No more flying up in the air. Nope. nope. On a separate day, I took the ground post driver that we got from our friends at Bootstrap Farmer and I drove down with our sledgehammer our other ground post along the sides of our greenhouse. And that tool made a big difference in being able to drive those posts in without really bending the tops of your ground post. Because when you do that, it's a lot harder to get those other posts of your hoops into your ground post. And you don't want that. You want those posts to be as smooth around the sides as possible. It really helps with inserting the hoops into the ground posts. And as I was setting up those ground posts, Sally here helped me by making sure that I was making those ground posts level with each side. So we took a 16 foot two by four and used a level and we were going through and making sure they were level. Yeah. And as we were leveling our posts, we kept running into things. We sure did. I really should have cleaned up the area just totally before we even started. But just being anxious and starting and wanting to get things done, I didn't do it. So, but then we did it. We cleaned out our area completely, cleaned it up so we could work easier and more efficiently. That made a big deal, didn't it? Yep. Helped out a lot. Yep. And right after we cleaned up, we got right back to work working on our greenhouse upgrade. And we took our ground posts, made sure they were level, and then we began taking our side posts, which actually raise up the hoops for our greenhouse to make it taller. So we put those in, and it was Josiah's turn to come back and work with me. There's a lot of opportunities to, to get life lessons and life school here on the farm, and we try to make sure the kids do that. So what did you get to do, Josiah? I got to use the lawn mower for the first time. How, what did you think about that? Eh, it was pretty fun. And let me tell you, these two did an excellent job throughout this project. And you guys have been doing a great job actually here recently of really just stepping it up here on the farm. That is a big, big help to me and helps our farm all around. <laughs> and it's really neat to be able to work with the kids on some of these projects. It helps our relationship and they get to learn at the same time. And the more I train them, better they can be on the farm. Oh, no, no. <laughs> and once we had everything lined up and level, things seemed to really be moving much faster after that. Lacey came out and helped me insert the hoops. 
onto the side post. And once the hoops were in place, it really looked neat seeing things coming together and things shaping up for the greenhouse. Then after that, we set up the center top rail. And this is the part of the project I wish I would have done in a different order. At this point, after we had our hoops up, I put in our baseboard, our sideboards, that go along the side of the bottom of the greenhouse. I should have did that before we put our hoops up. But just being anxious, we got the hoops up before that. But it is what it is. It was what it was. <laughs> and this was the point in the project where Micah came to help. I hold the baseboard. Tell Taylor what the screw is. Say screw. Show us Taylor. I just <laughs> screw? Good job, bud. Micah is really enthusiastic and really wants to help on a regular basis. Sometimes we have to hold him back and say, no, you can't help out here. But this was a time that I could actually use his help. He was handing me nuts and bolts and he was doing a great job. He wanted to pick up my drill and hand it to me. Yeah, so I, I really appreciate them having the kids when they have the attitude of just wanting to help. And when they have the attitude of wanting to go the extra mile too, that is even better. Love when their heart is there and the heart wants to help. That is excellent. So you kids out there watching, make sure you have your heart in what your parents ask you to do and help them out because they need your help. I need their help and they help me out. And speaking of the side baseboards, those boards are important because I take a bolt through those boards, through the ground post, and through the side posts that connect the hoops. And that really helps keep things more intact and more on the ground with everything being together and a lot less likely of being lifted up again. After that, we had a pretty long day and it was time to call it a day. And part of the reward for all the hard work that they did was what, kids? What did I give you? Popsicles! What flavors did you guys have? Orange. Looks yellow to me. Uh, but it tastes uh, like orange? Yeah, it does. And it even says it's oh, orange. My brother. They even What's have yours? jokes. Yours is red? Strawberry? Uh -huh. Bad baby. <laughs> Did you like them? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Yes. But I just want to say, great job to you guys. Way to go in helping me out with the greenhouse upgrade. We still have more to go. We have to put the plastic on and cover it up. But make sure you stay tuned for that because I'm sure these guys are going to do a great job in helping me out once again because they're turning into some really good little homestead farmers in training getting the job done. That's it for today. We hope you enjoyed it. Hope you join us next time. And remember, grow, grow on. on! And as we were left... Just calm down, slow down. If you have the yawn, just kind of do it like this. Oh, we can do this. Just kind of still do that, then it looks like your car's explode. <laughs> you don't want to. Be like... <laughs> 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 the camera. See gonna... Josiah's like. <laughs> <laughs> and then Sarah's like. I want to do it like this. I want to do it like this. I want to do it like this. No yawning. If you're going to yawn. <laughs> I need the yawn, it's called the yawn. <laughs> if you need the yawn, do like this. If you need the yawn, don't go. <laughs> Low battery. <laughs> Low battery. Oh. All right. Well, that's it for this vlog. See you next time. And grow on. Don't forget to hit that little bell. Yeah, and share this video with others. Yeah. Yeah, okay. See ya!